students my name is Niyati Seet and thanks for watching Edipedia word videos my topic for the presentation is the circulatory system of cockroaches okay as we know that the blood vascular system of cockroach is an open type that means blood vessels they are very poorly developed and they open into spaces called hemocele okay they are called as hemocele visceral organs they are located in the hemocele are bathed in blood that is hemolymph hemolymph is the blood of cockroaches hemolymph is composed of colorless plasma and hemocytes heart of cockroach it consists of elongated muscular tube that lies along mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen it is differentiated into funnel shaped chambers with ostia on either side okay with ostia on either side blood from the sinuses it enter heart through ostia and is pumped anteriorly to sinus again so this is the circulatory system of cockroach this is uh, these are your alary muscles i have already taught you in previous uh, previous to previous presentation please refer to that uh, so these are your uh, alary muscles and these are the chambers which are 13 in number these are uh, 13 chambers of the heart okay now the blood vascular system is open type which is found in cockroaches that means the blood doesn't flow in the vessel and capillaries but they move through internal open spaces that is hemocele and comes in contact with the body organs okay hemolymph is a blood which is composed of colorless plasma and hemocytes that means blood cells okay uh, irregular white blood cells and leukocytes when I'm saying hemocyte, that means it refers to irregular white blood corpuscles and leukocytes. Am I clear? Now, hemocele. Hemocele in the thoracic and abdominal region, the body cavity or hemocele is divided into three large spaces by two partitions, which are those partitions dorsal and ventral diaphragm. Okay so there are uh, three sinuses present okay so, uh, first is your pericardial sinus which is present dorsally below the torture and encloses the heart and second is your perivisceral sinus which is largest and encloses most of the viscera and then is your perineural sinus which is present ventrally above the sternum and encloses the nerve cord okay and all other sinuses all three sinuses that is a pericardial sinus perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus they are connected to each other by perforations in the diaphragm okay now what kind of heart is present in cockroach as we know that heart in cockroaches it lies along the dorsal line of thorax and abdomen Blood is kept circulating by long tubular, dorsal, muscular, funnel shaped, 13 chambered heart. Okay, I have uh, shown you in the previous diagram that these are your 13 chambers of heart. Okay, these are the chambers of heart. So, blood it, uh, is kept on uh, circulating by a long tubular, dorsal, muscular, funnel shaped, 13 chambered heart the heart it lies along the dorsal line of thorax and abdomen and each chamber of the heart it opens into one in front of it the opening is guarded by the pair of ventricular walls which allow only forward flow of blood and not the backward flow of blood okay at the posterior end of the chamber except the last is a pair of holes which we call it as ostia okay 
Austria, though Austria is not uh, shown in this uh, diagram, but yes, uh, Austria is present at the posterior end. Okay, and please see here that there are three uh, types of uh, sinuses. Pericardial sinus is this one. Then is your perineural sinus. This is your perineural sinus, and this is your perivisceral sinus. Okay, okay. Uh, and ostia, they are guarded by auricular walls which allow the blood to pass into the heart from hemocele. Hemocele is a cavity. How it goes from heart to the aorta, aorta to head sinuses, from head sinuses to perineural sinus, this, uh, then to perivisceral sinus and then to pericardia sinuses and then back to the heart. Now comes the digestive system of cockroaches. Okay. As we know that nutrition in cockroach is holozoic in nature and it is an omnivore which feeds on different kind of organic matter. It takes in the pieces of food and has to grind them before digesting them. Thus, its mouth parts are modified accordingly for chewing the food. Okay. So, the digestive system of cockroaches, it includes mouth parts, a pair of salivary glands and the elementary canal. Okay. To understand the position of the mouth part, please observe the external features of cockroaches in this diker. Okay, the body of the cockroach is segmented into three portions. This is your head, this is your thorax and this is your abdomen. So the mouth part are attached on the ventral side of the head portion and it surrounds the mouth or the oral cavity which faces down. There are different mouth parts. First is your labrum. Labrum is known as upper lip then is your mandible okay then is your maxilla then is your labium and then comes elementary canal so uh, we'll be studying each one one by one okay so this is how the digestive system of uh, cockroaches is bifurcated into two this one is your elementary canal uh, and this is your digestive glands Elementary canal in which digestion takes uh, place in specialized cavities that are joined together to form continuous canal, which we call it as elementary canal. An elementary canal is divided into three main portions, foregut, midgut and hindgut. Okay. Foregut consists of a mouth which is surrounded by mouth parts and the mouth cavity is called as pharynx okay uh, it continues as the esophagus that is short narrow and thin walled uh, so uh, and and then uh, crop comes crop opens into a short muscular organ that is your gizzard uh, so um, outside and laying above the crop are the pair of the salivary glands which comes in the digestive gland category but the foregut is divided into six uh, sections which is your pre-oral cavity mouth pharynx esophagus crop and gizzard and hindgut is divided into three ileum colon and rectum okay as I said, the digestive system of cockroaches is bifurcated into two, elementary canal and digestive gland. Elementary canal we have already studied. Now comes digestive glands which helps in the digestion. So the digestive glands, they are divided into three, salivary glands, hepatic cica and glands of mesentron. Okay. So this is the elementary canal. We'll be studying elementary canal first. Elementary canal consists of three portions, three major portions, which are those foregut, midgut and hindgut. Okay. Now comes foregut, which is the major portion of elementary canal. Foregut is also known as stomodium. Okay. 
so the uh, foregut it consists of a mouth which is surrounded by mouth parts the mouth cavity is called as pharynx okay and uh, uh, it continues as the esophagus that is short narrow and thin wall the canal then enlarges into crop which is also thin wall and the crop it opens into a short muscular organ which we call it as gizzard okay so uh, first is your so uh, just know that foregut it consists of preoral cavity mouth pharynx esophagus crop gizzard or gizzard is also known as proventriculars so the first is your preoral cavity it is a space in front of the mouth the hypopharynx it projects into the preoral cavity and then comes mouth mouth is a small narrow opening which is surrounded by mouth parts okay and then comes pharynx pharynx is a short funnel like part that lies in the head region and it leads to the esophagus now comes esophagus esophagus it passes through the neck and opens into a sac like structure which we call it as crop crop is a large and highly distensible pear shaped sac that stores food that stores food on temporary basis okay so um and uh, and it is a long that extends to fourth to the fifth abdominal segments and from the crop food enters into gizzard gizzard is also known as proventri culus okay what it is called as it is called as proventriculus okay so uh, it is provided with the circlet of six cartilaginous teeth these are the six cartilaginous uh, teeth which help to crush the food okay and behind the cartilaginous teeth these are cartilaginous teeth which are six in number behind the cartilaginous teeth are backwardly uh, directed fine cartilaginous bristles in the groove of gizzard these are your longitudinal grooves so they are interconnected with each other and they form a filter they all are interconnected with each other gizzard has therefore an efficient grinding apparatus it marks the end of the foregut as i have told you that uh, foregut it consists of uh, preoral cavity mouth pharynx esophagus crop and finally gizzard so the gizzard is your uh, that marks the end of the foregut now comes midgut midgut is also known as mesenteron okay what it is called as it is called as mesenteron midgut forms a true gut or mesenteron that consists uh, entirely of a stomach or ventriculars at the junction of the gizzard and stomach are the six pairs of the gastric ck okay gastric means uh, pertaining to stomach okay they are pouch like structures that are arranged in a ring like manner around the anterior end of the stomach okay around the anterior end of the stomach and they secrete digestive enzymes so the midgut it consists of ventriculars which is also known as uh, stomach and it bears around 8 hepatic ck so 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 8 so the four pairs of hepatic ck are present uh, and they are very thin they are very transparent they are blind tubules that are arranged in a hole of uh, rosette fashion in the interior part of the stomach so they secrete digestive enzymes ventriculars i have told you that um, that it means that it pertains to stomach so is a short and narrow tube of uniform diameter and it is concerned with digestion of food the midgut is a major organ of digestion and absorption okay because the ceca it secretes digestive juices and pour them into the stomach the midgut is not lined by chitin or cuticle but by a peritropic membrane 
This membrane it protects the stomach wall from abrasions and is fully permeable to enzymes and digested foods. Okay. Now after mesenteron or midgut, now comes hindgut. Hindgut is also known as proctodium. Okay. It is also known as proctodium. Hindgut is a coiled structure that consists of anterior ilium, middle colon and posterior rectum. The rectum it opens to the exterior through the anus. The hindgut is lined by cuticle unlike midgut. I have told you that midgut is lined by a peritropic membrane and not by the chitin. But the hindgut it is lined by a chitin. Okay. So uh, at the junction of the stomach and ileum they are attached numerous long tubules which we call it as malphagian tubules. See this is your uh, hindgut and uh, these are your malphagian tubules. So the hindgut it consists of ileum colon and rectum. This is colon, this is rectum and uh, these are the malphagian tubules which are slightly uh, and this height gut is slightly broader than the mid gut. This was the uh, mid, um, mid gut. Mid gut is also known as mesenteron. Okay. At its junction with the mid gut are present a ring of uh, up to 100 to 150 yellow thread like malphagian tubules which are excretory in nature. Okay. It helps in removal of the excretory products from the hemolymph. Their product is poured into ileum. Okay, this is your ileum. Ileum is short and narrow and colon, this, this one is your colon. Colon is coiled and white tube like structure. Now comes rectum. This is the rectum or this is the last part of the hindgut. Rectum, it opens to the outside by anus which lies below the 10th tergum. Okay. So, uh, this was all about the hindgut. Uh, in hindgut, absorption of water takes place and undigested food is formed into almost dry pellets. These are excreted through the anus as feces. Okay. Now comes salivary glands. I have already taught you the elementary canal. I have told you that uh, digestive system of cockroaches is bifurcated into two. First is your elementary canal in which foregut, midgut and hindgut comes and now comes salivary glands. Okay, salivary glands, they are, uh, uh, they are two in number, one on each side of the crop. Okay, crop is a part of foregut. Each gland has two glandular lobes and a receptacle or reservoir. Okay, the glandular lobes consist of several irregular white colored lobules which are provided with collecting ducts. They secrete saliva. The two gland ducts of each of two salivary glands, they unite and form a common salivary duct. Okay, uh, and they form a common salivary duct. These are salivary receptacles or the reservoir, you can say. Okay, and the, you can say that salivary glands they open by the common salivary duct into the pre oral cavity. Saliva it contains amylase, chitinase, and cellulase, which help in. Uh, digestion you can say and what are these these are your salivary receptacles they are very thin walled transparent bag like structure which we call it as salivary receptacles that stores saliva okay now comes respiratory system but before that I would uh, like to uh, remind you that how the digestion takes place uh, in cockroaches how it takes one by one okay uh, so this is the digestive system of uh, cockroaches and this what happens is uh, first 
digestion starts in the mouth mouth this is one is the mouth and uh, with the mandibles and the maxillae that chews the food it is also acted upon by salivary carbohydrates which partially digest the food and food is then swallowed with the help of lubrication which is provided by salivary juices now uh, the food then enters into the esophagus this is one is your esophagus see this is your esophagus so uh, food is then enters into the esophagus and then into the crop this is your crop part which temporarily stores the food and the food is then passed into gizzard these are your gizzard this is your gizzard uh, which acts as a grinding chamber at the junction of the gizzard and stomach there is a valve which we call it as stomadial valve it allows the passage of only the thoroughly a thoroughly digested food into the stomach and it also prevents the regurgitation of food from the stomach the ground food then enters the stomach this is your stomach part and uh, the digestive enzyme is secreted by the gastric ck which act upon the food in the stomach these enzymes they include amylase maltase invertase tryptase and lipase the remaining carbohydrate proteins and fats they are digested here then the digested food is absorbed through the stomach wall in the surrounding space which we call it as hemocele okay uh, then uh, then it comes into the hind gut okay where malpighian tubules are present ileum colon and rectum are present and then the undigested uh, food uh, is formed into almost dry pellets and it is uh, excreted through the anus uh, this is the 10th tergium or the anus uh, so uh, the dry uh, so the you can say the undigested food is formed into almost dry pellets and these are excreted through the anus as feces okay i hope it is clear to all of you now jump into the respiratory system of cockroaches okay uh, so the respiratory system consists of a network of trachea that open through pairs of small holes which we call it as spiracles okay they are also known as stigmata stigmata or spiracles thin branching tubes uh, uh, that means trachea tubes they are subdivided into tracheoles they carry oxygen from air to all parts okay and the opening of the spiracle is regulated by various kind of sphincters sphincters they act like a gates exchange of gases in cockroaches they take place by the tracheoles by diffusion okay okay and uh, during intense activity fluid is withdrawn from the tracheoles so that more empty surface area is available and air reaches the tissue cells directly for quick oxygen supply blood has no role to play in respiratory gas exchange okay so this is uh, the respiratory system uh, this is your first thoracic spiracle second thoracic spiracle uh, that means in the thoracic uh, reason two spiracles are present and then comes in the abdominal uh, segment uh, only one is abdominal is recal is present okay and this is your uh, spiracle uh, atrium atrial muscles are there cuticular thickening is there and then they are divided into tracheoles these are your tracheoles these are your tracheal cells cytoplasm and nucleus of the tracheoles okay so this was all about the respiratory system circulatory system and digestive system of cockroaches so keep watching edipedia word videos stay tuned